what it is, what it means from the world. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Brown, and this is the Ash Said It Show. Over 2,000 episodes since 2014, half a million streams all around the globe. None of this is possible without you guys. So thank you so, so very much. Today, I am joined by a very ultra-talented young lady that is just sprinkling pixie dust and magic all around the world in her very own way, the wonderful Emmy Sass. Hey, Emmy. Hey, Ash. How are you? <laughs> I am that was great. such a great intro. Oh, my God. I mean, because you're a magic superstar. Yes, I look at you, I think of you as like a fairy. You're like the fairy godmother of the world. I so love that's that. what we're gonna do. Oh that. my gosh, that's, that's amazing! <laughs> I love it. But today, I mean, we're talking all about life interrupted foundation. How did things start? So, on March thirty first, twenty twenty three, um, I was engaged to my fiance. His name was Scott. Um, we were getting married two weeks later, and he was on a golf trip, and he passed away while he was away. Um, and after everything that I went through dealing with the sudden loss and going from planning a wedding to planning a funeral, Mm -hmm. I just realized how little help there is for people in my situation. Mm -hmm. And I just knew one day I needed to do something to help others. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, that's basically how it all started. I, took about eight months to kind of go a little crazy and grieve and just, I don't even know. I kind of lost my mind for a while, but I knew yeah. that one day I would find my purpose. And, um, in November of 2023, I came up with the vision for life interrupted, which is just to help families and children with financial aid, counseling grants, and just giving them all the resources they need after a sudden loss. Mm, that is amazing. And, you know, you and I have shared, you know, things on the phone and stuff. And I'd share with you about my loss and my mom and really how this podcast came to be. (laughs) Yes. Which has definitely been um, an incredible journey. But definitely knowing that there was a foundation where someone like myself could go to. Because my loss wasn't necessarily sudden, but it was certainly... As as most deaths are unplanned, because you're like you're not really you know you're you're not considering this as something that could happen. So having people to go to that are going to be encouraging people, unfortunately, sometimes will say the most discouraging things, and uh, not that they're being mean or being you know bad minded about it, but they'll say insensitive things to you. And I went through that. A lot. <laughs> oh, t- me too. I went through that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was very frustrating because I remember feeling like you don't understand, mm-hmm. like how I handle my grief is my own. And, you know, one day it'll all make sense to me, but I don't know. It's grief is just such a bizarre thing and it never really goes away and everyone handles it differently. Yeah. It's, it's just a, it's a wild, it's a wild ride and I mm-hmm. hope no one ever has to go on it, but we do. And now there is a place for people to go where they can find the support and the resources they need. Yes, yes, absolutely. And I wanted to talk about some of those resources and some of the ways that you guys are helping people um, just in the day to day and dealing with uh, sudden loss. So there are a number of ways which we are helping people. So we originally started, well, we wanted to start in Georgia and then slowly expand to be nationwide. Mm -hmm. Um, But things took off as soon as we Mm -hmm. launched and we are actually helping people all over the country and Mm -hmm. even some in Canada, which is just amazing. So because of that, we've kind of had to shift everything a little bit. So when someone contacts us, we find out their location and we connect them to grief support. We connect them with counselors that fit um, their need, whether it was a loss of a child, a loss Mm -hmm. of a parent. We, we find those counselors that are specialized in those areas. Um, And then we can find them online support. If it's an immediate loss, we help connect them to lawyers. If they need to go to Mm -hmm. probate, Um, basically we connect them with every resource you might need after a loss. 
And for me, Scott passed away when I was 32. So I had literally no clue what to do. So I searched hours, hours and hours on Google of like, what do I do when someone dies? Mm -hmm. And there's just really not a lot of information out there. So Mm -hmm. we also, we've created basically a checklist, like a roadmap of everything that needs to be done after someone passes away in time sensitive order. Mm -hmm. So you have this list and you can go through it at your own pace, or, you know, we can walk you through that. We can take some of those steps for you on your Mm -hmm. behalf. Like if you need to start making funeral arrangements, we can call and get quotes and talk to other people for you Mm -hmm. so that those people can spend the time grieving. Mm -hmm. And then our biggest thing that we're focusing on right now is offering families um, like emergency funds that they might need. So Mm -hmm. most people, myself included, I was not prepared. Like I, we, I spent all of my money on our wedding trip. Mm -hmm. So when Scott passed away, I, the rent was due the next day and I didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's so important that people have the time they need to heal and take time off and just kind of start to to sit in what happened. Um, so we want to provide grants for essential needs like rent, mm-hmm. uh, utility bills so that their power doesn't get shut off, um, a car payment, a phone bill, anything like that we want to provide financial assistance for. Mm-hmm. And then if it's a little later down the road and they want to start grief counseling, we offer counseling grants to pay for the initial costs of that. Mm, wow. That is amazing. Thank you. Amazing, amazing work. I mean, it's just, like I said, I personally, and I know that there are different foundations and things and different organizations around that um, that help with different things when people are dealing with grief and dealing with loss, but I've not seen one nearly as organized as yours. So I well, thank you. you. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. It's actually yeah. crazy because in the, I think it took us about seven or eight months to do all of our research, mm-hmm. you know, put the whole site and the whole, all of our programs together. Mm-hmm. And while I was doing all of that, I was researching everything that I possibly could. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I could be wrong, but in my research, I have not found another charity or foundation that offers what we do Mm -hmm. there's bits and pieces here and there but as far as like essential needs grants there Mm -hmm. is nothing you have to Mm -hmm. have a specific occupation um Mm -hmm. you have to meet all these criteria and Mm -hmm. a lot of them are crowdfunding and for us like I don't want of course I want someone to crowdfund and get as much money as they need but I want to be there and be like hey you can't afford all the funeral well here's a grant and we can help pay Mm -hmm. towards that you know, and there's, yeah. there's just nothing like that. Yeah. There's no, there's no place that's going to pay someone's rent for them for two or three months. Mm-hmm. No, you're not going to see that. Like you said, you've seen, I've seen some that have like bits and pieces here and there, but you all have actually just collaborated and, and put together this conglomerate of an actual organization that people need. So yes, kudos. they do. And it's the amount of people that have reached out and we've been launched. i it's probably like three months now. Like yeah. there's been over, I mean, hundreds of people have reached out and shared their stories with us. And all of them were like, I wish something like that was around, you know, when I lost my husband or mm-hmm. when I lost my parent, but there's been about probably 52 people now that have reached out for help that we've been able to find them resources. And we're actively trying to approve them for grants and everything. And it's like, there's, when we're giving them these resources and we're looking for information in their area, we're always looking Mm -hmm. for financial aid just to see if they can qualify for more than what we can give. And there's nothing. Mm -hmm. And it makes me so upset because I'm like, you don't know you need something like this until you need it. And Mm -hmm. by then it's too late. It's too late. You're absolutely right. Now tell us about the legacy campaign. So our legacy campaign, I'm actually super excited about this. (laughs) Um, After Scott passed away, my biggest fear was that people would forget. I knew I would never forget because he was the love of my life. He will always be. Mm -hmm. Um, But I was so worried that as time went on and 
uh, people move on, right? Right. I was so afraid that people would not remember who he was or mm. or what he was in this world. Mm. So I I thought to myself, how can we create a way to honor all of the people that we've lost in whatever way, whether it was uh, through a sickness, whether it was sudden, whether it was suicide, any way, how can we remember them and build a legacy for them? Mm. So we actually just went live on our page today and it is a fundraising campaign where if you've lost someone you love and you resonate with our mission and you want to fundraise, you can do that on behalf of your loved one. So any money that you raise on behalf of that person, we will donate a grant to a family in need on their behalf. Mm. So I feel like it's just such an amazing way to keep someone's memory alive, to build a legacy for them while helping families and children in need. Yeah. Paying it forward. The ultimate paying it forward. I love that. I absolutely love it. And yes, that would definitely be... I will be joining you guys and we will have uh, a legacy campaign for my Donna Teresa. I would love that. Oh my gosh. She would (laughs) love that. I just, Oh my gosh. I think it'll be so amazing that, you know, when it's someone that you love, like you will never forget them, but to be able to share your story and their story with the world and just to let everyone know how much they meant to you and also Mm -hmm. build their legacy. I just think it's going to be so special. I'm super excited about it. Yes. Yes. A beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, where can people go to get more information and to join a legacy campaign? So on our website at the, um, at the top of the page, there is a space where you can uh, click to get involved and it says start your own legacy campaign. So the page explains everything, what it is, what it's about, and then you can create your own page. You can create a team. So if you have a family member and you want to get your sister involved or, you know, a husband or a partner, or anything like that, they can also join and spread the word. So we've created everything. We have a parent page and then you can start your own fundraising page and you can create a team, do it on your own. And then once you sign up, we will send you kind of like a toolkit of all of the branding that you need, kind of some email marketing, like everything is all there to make it so easy for everyone to get involved. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. And the fact that you guys actually supply people the tools and the things oh, that yes. they need. Everything is it. right there. Literally, <laughs> you just need to create your page and post it on social media or just tell your friends. We also have a text to give to make it even easier. Mm. And the the purpose of this, of course, we want to raise as much money as possible because we have so many people in need of help. But it's also to, to share the story and to spread the word of Life Interrupted because truly my, my goal is anyone who has experienced a sudden loss, we want them to know our name so we can be one of the first people they call. Yes. I love that. I absolutely love it. And Emmy, if people need to get in contact with you or anyone on your staff, if they've got questions, comments, where do they need to go or what do they need to do? So you can either email me. My email is esass, S-A-S-S, at lifeinterruptedfoundation.org. Um, all that information is on our website, uh, lifeinterruptedfoundation.org, or you can go to our Instagram. We answer all of the messages and, you know, we can talk to people on there. And so that is just Life Interrupted Foundation. Sounds like a plan. Emmy, thank you so much for coming through tonight. We definitely appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And keep in mind, I know that there are going to be updates and things going on throughout the year into the new year of course so i would love for you to come back and share it with us first absolutely i would love that (laughs) certainly and i appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you so much for your love and support keeping in mind anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do you look them square in the face you tell them don't believe me just watch watch what i do watch me make it happen watch me make history That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.